What's up guys, this is Ashnok, showcase of RAM and review at the same time in Champion Arena. I was not cherry picking my fights, I've got some very interesting battles in there. The stats of the heroes, the stats and gear of RAM are at the end of the video guys. So right here I went in there versus a carrot and uh, yeah I mean you don't want to attack teams that have a fire hero or heroes of course with RAM that's definitely a weakness right there but her damage is ridiculously high with the soul burn of the skill number one which attacks everyone decide to take out tempest siren here since she needs to be double tapped and uh i mean the kit that she has is just perfect for pve content now of course i have to try the hero in pvp and her multipliers damage numbers that she's able to output are super super high now look at this, 47,000, like, like the numbers that I'm seeing, because I'm using the same gear that I had on my Bloodblade Karen before, right? And the, the numbers that I'm seeing are kind of similar to, to BBK. I went back in one of my RT video where I was cleaving with uh, Flan, uh, Broman, BBK, and it looks like the numbers are quite similar, you know, when you're actually attacking everyone, of course. Uh, you know, you cannot attack fire, you know, heroes as effectively as uh, BBK. But even, you know, when you don't land a critical hit, her damage, her attack is so high that you're still able to do some pretty decent numbers. And you're at least able to finish off some heroes that, you know, you miss your attack against because fire hero or maybe it's an evasion based hero. So I really like that. Now BBK, she downs someone, then she gets an extra turn, she's got attack percentage self-memory imprint, and she's a 4-star Moonlight hero. Like, Ram is free. As long as you play during the ReZero collaboration, you got Ram, and then Ram will be triple S, so that's gonna be effectiveness or health for the team imprint right there. So if you build her, right, you can use her in PvE content, you can use her in PvP content. Now I have her build quite slow. You know, she's on a rage set with uh, Kaladra artifacts. So if there's a debuff, just one debuff on the enemy, she's dealing a lot more damage. Now if you have defense break, which shreds their defense by 70%, you're just gonna deal so much more damage. Now in there, I brought Dizzy in this battle, which is kind of weird, but uh, you know, she's a mage, she can, uh, Wear the Gilles Ancient book because you need to have the Gilles Ancient book or books across the team so you can have souls to actually soul burn. So the damage, man, like very, very high. And of course, you no know, constant counter attacks from Violet. But with Violet, you know, uh, at least I had two ice heroes to bait his attack and uh, it bought me time so I can keep Ram alive up until now. So the skill three here miss, but still look at the number like 6,600 really good now the option that i really like with uh, ram is that you could just single out a hero with the skill three initially and then you could cleave later on you don't have to cleave and the big damage multiplier is going to be uh, from her skill number three the skill one you know attacks everyone and then if you have a buff you will be able to uh, have a hundred percent chance to attack break the whole team so that's huge right there the defense break on skill number three you know defense break attack break that's the perfect combination the best things that you can have for pve content right you're uh, cutting their attack in half you're uh, shredding their defense by 70 percent so you're going to be able to deal more damage versus the target and they will be dealing you know uh maybe 50 percent less damage if they scale off of their attack that's beautiful right there she's self-sufficient she's got great attack buff in her kit look at the damage so high uh, very similar to the numbers that uh, I was seeing from my Bloodblade Karen. Which is quite surprising, man, considering she's a free hero. Like, everyone has her, right? Unless you didn't play during the ReZero collaboration. But that, that, that you should be hyped just because of that, right? And uh, you build her, you use her in PvE, you use her in PvP. That's just, just perfect. And, uh, of course, I do get 50% crit damage from my flan you know when i buff her up with crit damage buff i do have an attack percentage memory imprint from benevolent roman which is a triple s so it's back position i think it's like 10.4 percent attack so it does help her pump the damage to a higher level 
I do not have memory imprint from Flan, so that's something that you might have and you'll be able to deal even more damage. If I do bring a mage, you know, I did bring Dizzy and that is attack percentage memory imprint that she could have. I do have Midnight Bloom on Flan, so that's crit chance for the whole team. And uh, I don't have 100% crit chance on Ram. I get 100% by using the Midnight Bloom artifact. But I really like that she's very efficient at cleaning up. You know, as long as she stays alive, like in this battle, it was great to have immunity, it was great to have some uh, some healing, and, uh, you know, the other Jewel Bazaar worked out just fine in this battle. But yes, very big single target attack, very big cleave damage, and uh, the single target attack of skill 3 is just ridiculously high, man. So uh, in this one, I bring Spectre Tenebria. So there is ML Ken. You know, in Champion, you don't know the exact uh, team... Uh, formation the positioning of their heroes when i was going in there it I, I saw that ml ken was in the back row but if it was the case you know he would take more uh, like less damage because uh you no know, troublemaker crozette would be protecting him so it would have been really really rough but look at that don't have defense break on ml ken that that is terrible if i cleave the whole team he's gonna stay alive i mean he's got defense buff so i decided to single him out with skill number three so you can see that almost 20,000 damage no defense break he had defense buff up it's uh, he had defense buff up and ml can martial artist can is usually built with a decent amount of defense as well so uh, quite surprising by the amount of damage i was able to do at least he had a debuff which allowed me to activate rage set and uh, the uh, the artifact Kaladra, which is on ram so uh, thankfully that, that was there. If it wasn't there, I wouldn't be able to actually take out ML Ken. But sometimes, you know, it's really rough when you're trying to land your debuffs, trying to land the fans break, uh, and it just gets resisted, uh, quite frustrating. And when you're trying to uh, strip, remove the, the enemy's buffs, you know, the immunity set, or maybe Ceres already went, and with uh, Benevolent Roman, I'm trying to remove the uh, invincibility that she has on herself that stuff just gets resisted sometimes it's really annoying you want that perfect cleave to happen there's all sorts of problems when you're trying to cleave using the fans break that's why i really like to use Straz, but not everyone has him you might not have the gear level for uh, for using Straz. but the thing is ram is actually not that easy to gear for now if everything goes according to plan and you're able to land the fans break on the enemy team you're just going to be able to shred them apart like it's going to be so much damage you don't even need a rage set like you could have you know uh yes you could go and use Kaladra artifact on her she's a mage so she does have access to mage artifacts which are really really amazing so that's a definitely a plus you could always just open up with skill 3 and then follow up with the cleave uh, soul burn skill 1 later on. You will have great attack buff, that 75% attack increase. So it will boost her damage even further if you build it up. I was thinking about using like lots plus, uh, auxiliary lots plus green lots. So I could just push her, you know, use skill 3 and then use uh, skill 1. Or, you know, use skill 1 twice you know, double cleave, but then there's a bunch of different problems when you go with that. First, I'm in Champion League, so uh, yeah, uh, the opponent, sometimes they surprise you with the super high speed hero that just takes out one of your heroes. So there's all sorts of problems. There's a lot of Politis teams, so that's also out of the question. So uh, I'm just getting, like, I'm real with you guys with what I'm actually fighting uh, in Champion. You, like, you gotta refresh quite a bit. Like, even me which i wasn't cherry picking my opponents i had to refresh the page at least like once to actually find a decent team but when i was doing it you know i think i i found like one team per uh, per page and then i was refreshing then another fight then refresh another fight something like that you know on average that was what i had to go through but i'm in champion three so that's different like champion um you know champion five uh, which is lower when you get in there at 5,000 uh, rating There's still a lot of politis and you climb up and uh, maybe the teams are tankier and there might be even more politis And uh, they just have better gear sometimes. That's just the way it is uh, So yeah, I usually climb with uh, you can check my video with uh, Straz But I was able to do some really solid damage. The battles are longer. It's not as uh, I just don't 
turn on auto like you can't that's another problem if you're trying to cleave with ram you can just like press auto and it will just work because she doesn't penetrate defense like Straz, let's say so you need to like strip them then you need to soul burn flan skill three into skill two push you know your ram but then the thing is you need your skill ups i don't have skill ups on my flan i don't have any skill ups on flan i wish i had skill two maxed out so i could push the combat units even further Ram doesn't even have that much, you know, speed on her. I believe it's 144, which is not enough. In high champion, uh, a lot of the enemy has a lot of speed and they could cut between your setup. Now, Benevolent Roman plus Flan is really a great combination of two heroes because you got a mage, which means Tagiel's Ancient Book on Broman. So you're going to be able to, to have the souls to soul burn, you know, uh, the, the S3 of Flan and to the skill number two, which is perfect. So you can have these two plus your uh, your cleaver, and then that's a, a trio, and then the fourth position could be what is missing in your team. I really like that 10 souls is what you need to soul burn her S1, so that means like you have time to actually build it up, and you don't need to have more than one maxed out Tagil's Ancient Book. So that was another plus, and you can see that my gear is like really good. That's the type of gear that I use for one-shotting Banshee. I had to change the, uh, the chest, so I can have a, like 100% crit chance with Midnight Bloom. And I needed a bit more speed. If you're looking for a great emulator or a new phone, check the description of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like and subscribe if you still haven't. So you can see that my uh, my stats across all my heroes are pretty good. But that's what is required to actually make it happen in Champion. Let us know what you guys think about Ram in the comment section. But that's going to be it for this one. I'm Astronauts. Good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.